Hey everyone, Tom is here coming to you from MGMClassicCars.com and today I have the pleasure of going over this 1972 Chevrolet El Camino that's now for sale. It's been dressed up as a super sport. It's not a real super sport, but it's been dressed up as one from what I've been told, okay? Um, so again, we're gonna walk the car and um, I'm gonna point out any blemishes on the exterior part but the first walk around that I would like to do is um, just to show you the stance of the car. And then I'll move in a little bit closer, okay? So as you can see, uh, the rally wheels that look great on the car, the stance looks excellent on the vehicle with the BF Goodrich radial, um, radial TA tires. The chrome uh, rear bumper, the stainless steel around the wheel mold, opening moldings are in very good condition. It's got the mud flap set up, really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a really, really cool looking pickup truck is what these are referred to. Um, as you can see, um, he put a hitch on the back. If you ever wanted to tow something light, nothing really heavy, but something light. Um, and you can look at the... Um, uh, towing rating if you want to google that for a 72 El Camino but again um, you got dual exhaust there um, you got the tonneau cover um, that's been um, added to the back uh, bed liner um, the bed liner is is a mat it's a red mat you can refer to my photos and it's nice and clean back there there's no issues whatsoever and I did take photos of all that stuff um, like I said, um, all the stainless steel on the car is in good condition. Door handles are good. The glass is good. It all rolls up and up and down. The wing windows are pretty cool on the car. They all open, which is for the air ventilation right there. Um, <clears throat> stainless steel trim all around the glass, very good condition. Um, as you can see, it's it's one, uh, you know, whatever, a four, three foot trophy at one time. Um, cow induction hood upgraded with the flapper door. Um, you got a really nice front chrome bumper chrome, uh, uh, upgraded with the chrome grill. Um, bezels look good on the car as well. Um, and you got your cow induction emblems right there on the hood. So I'm going to move in a little bit closer now on the quality of paint. So me, you know, looking at the car, walking the car, knowing the car, um, I'm going to estimate this paint job to be a little bit over 10 to 12 years old, in my opinion. It's by far not perfect, right? But it's very nice. I mean, I'm standing, I don't know, I'm standing 8 to 10 feet away, and the car looks great. It's not a show quality piece, right? But it's a car you can take to car shows, cruise nights, drive it across the country in the Hot Rod Power Tour. America, we're open again. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your investment. These cars are increasing in price. Anyway, let's move in a little bit closer. Nice gloss on the paint. Okay. I don't see any imperfections uh, so far. And I will point them out to you as we walk the car here. Okay. Everything on the roof uh, there looks great. fuel right there like I said all the bezels look good condition chrome is good as you can see the dual exhaust let's check out underneath really quick while I'm back here nice clean all right moving right along passenger side everything looks good there minor ding right there I don't know if you can if the camera can pick up on that but there is one there and one right there very very minor I'm sure a paintless dent removal company can get that out for about a hundred bucks if needed, if wanted. Everything else looks great. I mean, the hood, the roof line, the quarters, the doors, the fenders. Small blemish right there. And then moving right here. A couple small blemishes there. Okay. Looks cool with the Raven Black or Tuxedo Black set up with the red rally stripes. The car looks awesome. All right, now that we uh, seen the exterior, let's check out the interior. 
Door lips look great on the car. Door panels look good. They've been obviously uh, uh, replaced at one time because I really do not think this is a real SS. Why do I say that? Because I have no documentation. Also, real SS's, I believe in 1972, they did come with the 350s, but they, I believe they all came with the 12-bolt rear end, and this has a 10-bolt, so um, th that's my reason. Excellent, I mean, not excellent, but good inner outer jams. Door sill plates look good, rockers look good, inners, outers, um, upgraded wooden steering wheel. You got bucket seats with the headrest, really good condition, seat belts intact. Um, dash pad looks excellent on the car. Um, SS gauge package on the vehicle, as you can see there, showing 57,412 miles. Your controllers for the heat, defrost, and air. Your radio, which we'll go over. Your glove box, other side of the door panel, your kick panels. Carpet is in good condition, along with the center console and your headliner okay bone light does function as well okay so let's fire this thing up hold on put a little charge in the battery let's pop the motor well let's pop the hood to see the motor Whew. one of those days all right Nice 350, quiet, not loud, aluminum intake, four barrel Edelbrock, carburetor, factory air conditioning, factory manifolds, upgraded with the battery, no overheating issues, windshield wiper fluid topped off, factory air conditioning, power disc brakes, power steering factory code color on the car is 26 and you guys can do a little homework on that and then this car was built uh, in february i believe the third week okay uh, real 72 with the 136 bin number on the car sounds good too check, check it out from the back doesn't that sound good Like I said, if you guys want to check the bed liner area, just refer to my photos. All right. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, um, well, there is a little blemish here in the red paint. Okay. I'm going to pop this trophy back in the passenger seat. And, um, we're going to go for a cruise. Show you guys how beautiful and how nice this thing drives. Back here is a spare tire. Okay, that's where it goes for the El Camino. All right. Man, I love this job. All right, so the motor is a 350, like I said, turbo hydromatic 350 automatic trans with the 10 bolt rear end 373 gear ratio. Now I'm guessing on the gear ratio, it could be a 353, okay? Um, oil was just changed as well. All right, gauge package has been added for more of a reliable uh, reading, okay? All right, as you can see, no horn, wipers do function, okay? Sometimes they don't uh, shut off, so I'm definitely gonna look into that, okay? All right, so let's see here. Let's shut this off first. Mess with this and see what happens here. Yeah. They did shut off earlier. There they go, okay. All right, lights all function, turn signals all work, okay? Uh, clock inoperable, speedo works. Um, 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 what do you call it? Tack gauge uh, is not working, okay? Um, you got the oil pressure, which is a little bit over 50, which is excellent. Uh, volts, voltmeter, um, it shows low right now, but I will charge the battery. 
temp gauge functions as well. All right, radio works, fuel gauge works. All right, let's check out now. What are we blowing here? This is, this feels like uh, the air conditioning. Okay, let's check that out. All right, I mean, it, it, you know, it's look, it's not cold, cold, but it, it's it's there. I would charge it. I would recharge it. Okay, heat and defrost works as well. All right, so now that you got everything here, as you guys know, I'm selling the car and all my cars in as is condition. Let's go for a ride. Great pickup. The transmission shifts great, like it should. Um, the power steering is very easy to, to work with. It's just, it's one hand. I'm holding the camera and driving it with the other. Shifts really, really, really nice. It drives down the road, excellent. It doesn't pull to the left, it doesn't pull to the right um, at all. When you hit the brake, it stops straight and it stops well does have the front power disc. No weird noises driving down the road. Um, no clinking, clunking, especially for it being a 50 plus year old car. <laughs> That's amazing. Underneath is solid. Um, so there's no worries there at all. But again, it's not a show car. It's just a great, great 72 Elkie that you can take anywhere you want. Very reliable as well. This is a great shop car, truck, either way. Um, so, um, you know, I try to keep always one El, Cam El Camino in stock. If I can find other good ones, I would bring them in. But they're getting harder and harder to find and are getting expensive. This one we got at a great deal, and I'm passing that on to you guys. So if you guys need financing and your credit score is between 625 and 750, um, fill out the application on my website. Okay? That will that will you will need once you get approved, you will need 10% down. If you're 750 and above, Go to lightstream.com and fill out the application. They will give a little bit better interest rates uh, because of the better credit score, obviously. Um, and um, you'll get funded the next business day. But before you do any application, please um, call me or text me. Let's make sure this thing's available. Um, if you don't need financing, just call me. Let's get the deal done. Small deposit, PayPal, or we accept all major credit cards. Now, as far as delivery, uh, we deliver all over the world, to be honest with you, coast to coast. So um, text me your zip code or call me. I would rather you text me. You, you, you'll, you'll get a quicker response. Um, my number is 847-848-1850, okay? Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, subscribe to my channel. And if you're watching this on Facebook, like it and share it. Um, we rely on um, uh, word, word for you know, word to word um, for referrals. So, again, my name is Thomas, and I'm coming to you from MGMClassicCars.com. Um, I'm gonna park the car here and just do another quick walk around as a recap to the vehicle. Okay, we're headed back to the herd. Got about 100 cars in that garage there. So again, you see it's running at about, I don't know, 190, 200. And we top off, you know, the coolant um, on our cars to make sure. Especially if the cars are going to the West Coast, it's a lot hotter there. But when you do get your car, just check it anyway. Um, so there you go, folks. A 1972 Chevrolet El Camino. Nice black paint, red stripe. 350 power steering, front power disc brakes, factory air conditioning car with the 10 bolt rear end, nice bed liner in the car, bucket seats, center console, console SS gauge package. Look at this thing. It's awesome. 
call me or text me. My name is Thomas and I can be reached at 847-848-1850. I do prefer text message. You will get me faster. Once again, thank you for watching MGM Classic Cars. Enjoy your day. Live your life. America, we're open. Let's do this.